Legend Total War here, and today we've got a saving a disaster battle playing as Clan Scryer going up against the dwarfs, where they're sending two full stacks at us. One fairly elite army full of uh, iron breakers and hammerers, and a second army with Thorgrim Grudgebearer with a less elite army, but still some dangerous units in here. I'm most concerned about the slayers in this situation here. Now, in the email, the guy says that the terrain is his biggest problem because sometimes the units just won't shoot because it's fairly bumpy. So it's an underway uh, battle. We can withdraw. Uh, I haven't seen what the situation looks like if we withdraw, but I think we can handle it. We do have a nuke, and I think we've got some stuff in here that we can use. Anyway, um, we're really low on food. And we don't have a Plague Priest in the army, so it's not a perfected weapons team by any means. But if we order a bunch more, it's not going to make any difference on our leadership because it's already low. So this will just give us a lot more crowd control because we really need to make sure we delay them as much as possible. Let's jump in and see what we can do. He had a few banners, none of them really mattered. So in this sort of situation here, where we don't have good crowd control... What we can do instead is a bit more of a confusion maneuver, where we send single entity fast units. Well, they don't even need to be single entity, but send fast units that can maneuver around them to constantly annoy them just so they advance slower so that the rest of our units can shoot. Now, another problem that we're going to face here is um, units firing at bad targets. So, for example, if the gyrocopters come first, which is likely having our Plague Claw catapult shooting at, a, at them isn't a good idea. So I'll turn them off, fire at will, and then I'll forget about them and all this kind of stuff. So there's a few things that we're going to have to juggle in this, that's all. Uh, but generally speaking, when using a weapons team army, you kind of want to leave it all on autopilot. Yeah, this map here, yeah, there's a lot of really bumpy terrain. you got to be very careful. Because like, if you put your rattling gun, like here, for example, these units here, they, they can't shoot at all. So you've really got to be careful. There's this spot over here, but if you come at them from this spot, then they go wide at you, which is even worse. You want them to be coming around this blob here, but unfortunately, the rough terrain really hurts us. Now, luckily, since we're going up against dwarves, we've got time to get set up, so we can check everything before we start making any maneuvers. So I'm just going to do some basic positioning here. I don't think two poison wind mortars is a good idea, but people do swear by it, so that's fine. I doesn't have a warlock engineer attached to the army. That would be good for extra range. Okay, this guy here is on a bone breaker. This one here is mutant rat ogre, and this one here I can use. This this is our uh, confusion uh, units, I suppose. Got one of those. Okay, but yeah, I'm gonna need to rearrange this. Put them all on guard mode. Now, another problem with this that you probably have seen in your own battles, if you put a unit on guard mode and you tell it to attack something, but it doesn't have a clear line of sight, it'll move forward. It's one of the most annoying things that can happen with missile units. And this is one of those areas where it can happen, where it seems like they're in range, they've got a clear line of sight, you'll tell it to attack, and it'll be like, oh, I can't see, and it'll move forward and then disrupt everything. So you got to be really careful about that. This is why usually it's good to just have your army in autopilot because they won't move forward if you haven't given them any orders so what we want to do is yeah these ones will be fine they don't need clear line of sight but the uh, Gisales absolutely do so the way we do that is there's if you deploy it in this angle here you're mostly shooting downhill without uh, any obstructions mostly okay so that, that should work, but we'll see how we go. Now we send this guy up ahead. Just use them to get some extra speed. Because we want to get line of sight on um, the enemy artillery so I can pop down uh, Menace Blood. We've got a warp bomb and a nuke. If there's a big cluster of them, especially the reinforcements, because they'll be clustered together, uh, yeah, I'm gonna drop a, I'm gonna drop a bomb on them. But I gotta get it. I gotta get sight. I can't just guess where it's going to be. So I might pop this down here, in the hope of maybe warp bombing those dudes. Also, it could give us line of sight here. Because I'd love to... Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh, daddy! <laughs> Shh! 
shit! Fuck yous! Cool. So that wiped out a lot of their units that are gonna lag behind. So that's that's one nail in their coffin, well a couple of nails in their coffins for um the army losses. And we've still got sight. I wanna pop down a minutes below on that goblobber. That's it, we got their attention over here. Now we drag some of the units over here early to shoot the shit out of them. Come on, hurry up. This is why you gotta put Plague Priests in your army, because while having loads of menace blows is great and everything, you just can't cast it that quickly. Oh man, that is some bad morale. The summons are not affected by um, the amount of food supplies you've got, so yeah, don't shoot just yet. Like I said, the gyrocopters will be first. Alright, we did some damage to them, but they're still there. At least at least those units there have been delayed. So we're just dealing with Grom Brindle's army first. Okay, just gotta bring them in a little bit more. Ah, uh, yeah, you don't fire at will either. I'm gonna put them in control group 4. Just so I know which ones are not on fire at will right now. I guess one downside here is that they're slightly obstructed. So I need to lure them a bit more over this way. Alright, if they're slightly obstructed, let's just move down here a little bit. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, I would really love to use a warp bomb in here. But it's got to survive long enough to actually drop down to 50% health. But what I mean by survive long enough, I mean not route. Okay, try to lure them over here. So all of the... those ones are gone. Um, Alright, you guys now, the Gisales, I need you to be trying to shoot at um, Grom Brindle because he's unbreakable. Could be a problem. Uh, what the hell happened to our unit here? Uh, yeah, I'll, t I'll take that. That's okay. Yeah, it, it was alright. It wasn't as good as I thought, though. Okay, Grom Brindle is there. Okay, good. They're all shooting at him. Good, 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 good. Okay, now what we do here with these guys is we actually run right past them. Like I said, we use Confusion. No, I... If I can move through them. Keep holding them back. I think this guy here's got a crown of command that can be really useful here. Try to get around it. Okay, you guys may now fire at will into Big Blob there. Oh, I should have saved the minutes, uh, the warp bomb for there. But that looks pretty good. Like I said, keep being confusing. Just delay their units getting to the rattling guns. That's so important. Okay, come on. I need more menace balloons, please. Okay, get the general. They do like to fight the general. Uh, what am we going to do about this? We got shit incoming and I don't have menace blows coming in fast enough. You've got to stop these fucking slayers. Okay, this might help a little bit. Means they're in kind of loose formation. This guy's taking a beating. Gotta stop the fucking slayers. Okay, I need this one to get in there and get rid of Grom Brindle, because he got through. This one here is doing a good job, not in terms of damage, but in terms of being annoying, which is exactly what we want them to be doing. Keep delaying, keep delaying. Oh, no, 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 no! 
<laughs> no! No! You fucking idiots! Get that one out of there. Come on, take out Grom Brindle. I need more minutes below. Okay, we got another crown of command ready to go. Try it over here. Come on, I need that army losses. Okay, I'm gonna need one of these, just need to fucking kill them. Come on, the ambulance shouldn't be too far off. I think we got rid of Grom Brindle. Did that cast? No, I don't think it did. Come on, come on, give us that fucking army losses. Fuck, I hate control groups. Disruption! Disruption and confusion! Fuck off! Bring it, bring it Stupid- There we go, there we go. We got it. Oh man, that friendly fire from the poison wind mortars there. Oh god, that was annoying. I think I don't think any units got wiped out, but... You no, know, it took a little bit of damage for sure. And we still had a minutes below left over, so I didn't need to order all of them. But yeah, it was super annoying the um, bloody units uh, change orders within the control group. Super friggin' annoying. And the uh, yeah, the grudge throw has never made it over here. So that's good. Uh, is there a chance I can still get them? Because those are quite dangerous. It would be good to get rid of them. Because I don't... Th yeah, this army is not on Force March. Obviously, the army that attacked couldn't possibly be on Force March. But yeah, Grombrindle's super annoying because he's unbreakable. And we, we almost killed him on the approach, didn't quite... And we got rid of um, Thorgrim there. That's good. Good, we got rid of them. Oh god, what happened to you? Okay, whatever. Cool. Yeah, no units got wiped out. It was definitely a fucking shit scramble right at the end there, where it was just like... I, I tell you what, I've never felt more scaven, where it was just like, just more warpstone. Just throw more shit at the enemy and just make them die. <laughs> you know? Just, just throw everything that we had at them. That was not a time for conservative measures. It was just like... Just bomb everything in the whole fucking area. That's what that's what happened there. Really, uh, I think one of the biggest mis uh, biggest mistakes I made was the warp bomb. It was shit, and there was so many better opportunities to use it. But I think the nuke was good. Definitely did a ton of damage with that. Anyway, we can. F oh, look at that. Fully heal everyone except for the single entities. It's like nobody died. In fact, no, nobody did die. Because yeah, this one's damaged. Well, you know, some of them did die, but they just got him, get him back again. There's always more. Looks like you got a little bit of a dwarf problem, but as the Skaven, that's actually a good problem to have. Like, if you're a good Skaven player, dwarfs are almost comically easy to deal with. Oh, look at that. I think you... Oh, maybe that wasn't exactly there, but you did have a... Cunning, um, Warlock Engineer. But yeah, I can see what you were saying about the, um... The map being annoying. Oh, it was over here where we got assassinated, so that it wasn't over... Over... Oh God, where was it? Here. Yeah. I like the names. Good to keep track of that stuff. Yep. And that's seemingly all that's left of them. Cause that throat? No. 
Yeah, but that battle would have gone just a little bit better if we had even just one Plague Priest in the army. Or a um, Warlock Engineer, because it increases the firing rate, the weapon damage, ammunition. Um, just makes inflicting the army losses that much easier. But yeah, Dwarves are comically easy to deal with um, as the Skaven. Um, you know, in order for the Dwarves to win, they really need to have like got the upper hand on you. Um, but yeah, if it's an even footing, the Skaven pretty much always have the advantage. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you learned something. Appreciate you, and we'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.